Hello and welcome to BOI Weekly. I'm Kayo De Alayode. The Bank of Industry continues its drive to light up very remote communities across Nigeria's six geopolitical zones with clean energy. That's talking about solar power. It started with the rural electrification projects in Onibambu Community, Oshun State, then on to Bisanti Village, Niger State, Kowa Community in Gombe, and now Onono Village, Anambra State. But still to be executed are projects in Kaduna and Edo states. The Bank of Industry has been funding these projects, partnering with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and an indigenous renewable energy service provider, GVE Projects, which has been installing the devices. BOI Weekly was there in Onono Village to capture what remains a historic moment for the people in a remote settlement in Anambra West local government area who have never had electricity. Have you ever imagined a time when you could apply for and get a loan from the comfort of your bedroom or prayed that the processing time was shorter? Well, it is now a reality with the fast and swift Bank of Industry real-time online loan application initiative. The BOI Online Loan Application Portal is designed to deliver access and convenience to prospecting SME customers by ensuring that applicants need not have to physically visit the bank. Applicants simply have to submit all necessary documents via the online portal with the liberty to select their preferred BOI state office wherein the applications will be processed. How it works? Simply search keyword Bank of Industry and download our mobile app from Play Store for Android users, BlackBerry App World for BlackBerry users, and Apple Store for iPhone users. Click on the Apply button. Click on Register to register your account. A verification link and tracking code will be sent to your registered email address. Click on the verification link to facilitate login. Once logged in, you can complete your application, submit and click on continue to start tracking your loan application. An email will be sent to your email address confirming receipt of the application. With this initiative, BOI has reduced its loan application and processing turnaround time. Start applying for your loan right away. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. Onono Village, Anambra West local government area, is a usually quiet farming countryside sitting by the Niger River. They have never experienced power supply here. But today, that quiet is being disturbed for a good reason. A 24 kilowatt solar power plant is about to be commissioned today an event that will change their story forever. They can even make calls since it's now possible to have their telephone batteries charged. Hello? It's about time for the commissioning of the solar power recently installed in Onono village. And the people, man, woman, boy, girl, young and old, are excited about this historical event as they begin to make their way to the venue. After everyone converged at the square and all guests are seated, the event commenced with the national anthem. In line with the Igbo tradition, 
cola was presented to the guests as a mark of acceptance. <laughs> The guests, on their own parts, have to accept the gift so as to show they also feel at home. Once that was over, Our Lady Queen of Peace Children's Dance Group entertained the guests. Representing the governor, chairman of Anambra West Local Government Area, Honorable Simon Onora, says government appreciates the efforts of the Bank of Industry in assisting with the drive to bring development to the remote areas. On behalf of the people, people of Anambra West and uh, the people of Asian and Rumiku, in particular to the Bank of Industry, I remember a short while ago when the office was uh, commissioned at Oka, the governor was there, he was happy, he was very glad to work and partner with the Bank of Industry for the sake of development. Uh, in line with that, the, go the governor is so appreciative of the effort of the Bank of Industry, especially as the, this uh, project is the first of its kind in this state and it is brought to this place. The same way, people of Anambra West are very grateful to the Bank of Industry and uh, I assure you that as you move on with them, they will progress with you. Next comes the acting MD CEO, Bank of Industry, Mr. Wahid Olagunju. We are all aware that power remains a major obstacle to social economic development in Nigeria, as inadequate and unreliable electricity undermines economic growth, development and, in development and investments. The total electricity supply from our national grid peaked for the first time in history at about 5,075 5, megawatts early this month. This is, however, still grossly inadequate for a leading economy like Nigeria with a growing population estimated at more than 180 million. Renewable energy sources such as hydro, wind and solar are growing in relevance and commercial adoption on a global scale, even as issues such as climate change and energy security have taken the front burner globally. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, solar power has emerged as a tested solution to the rural electrification challenges and is now the cheapest source of electricity for more than one third of Africa's population, a figure that will continue to increase as the cost of solar plummets. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please recall that the pay as you go technology was the magic wand employed by the telecommunications industry to drive the rapid growth in GSM subscription across Africa over the last decade and a half. Pay as you go addresses two problems. First is the cash flow constraints of the customer, and second is the credit risk management issue of the service provider. Nigeria should join the ongoing renewable energy revolution as there is a development imperative for us to employ the pay-as-you-go magic wand in solving the electricity crisis by replicating this model in Nigeria. The chief promoter of GVE Project Limited, the company that executed the project, is proud the job is done 
and thanks the people for their cooperation. I'm equally more delighted that this one is happening right in my very own domain, and I'm Rafti. As we all must have heard, the project is a special intervention from Bank of Industry and United Nations Development Programme to enhance access to electricity to rural communities across various geopolitical zones in the country. And today we are all here in Orlando community to commission this wonderful project. This project, I wish to emphasize, is not in any way a benefaction from the state government. As we must have heard, it's a loan facility from Bank of Industry and which must be repaid. So far, we thank the people of Unono for their cooperation in delivering this project under a very short period of time. We thank you for your hospitality and we thank you for working with our team members here to get this project ready for commissioning today. Also, like we had, for the household users, the project is basically for lighting, television, fan, and cell phone charging. The bank provided a sum of 32.3 million naira to GVE Projects Limited at a concessionary interest rate of 7% for 15 years towards the deployment of standalone solar home systems in Onono. We hope to replicate the project in other communities in Anambra State in collaboration with the Anambra State Government, as well as in other parts of the country upon successful implementation of this pilot phase. The Eze Indioram Ezianam Igwebenu Moji Onyeka addresses the gathering and confers the title The Onwa of Anono on the acting MD CEO Bank of Industry, Mr. Wahid Olangju, for his contribution to development in a Nana community.